Okay, um, I've had a lot of people asking about pressing, how I press. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little video. I'll try and do it in some different parts and merge it together somehow, but I'll uh, try and do it so you can see the first process from a cleft just basically in its raw state with the face cleaned up, cut down to width, ready to press out. So that'll be its first pressing and then um, we'll show you what we do to press once they're handled um, to get the feel that we want. Now we've just got a basic uh, screw thread handle on our press so it's all down to feel by hand. I know some press people have presses that um, I would describe as counterbalance, so they've got a weight on one end, so there's one weight going through all the time. Um, that's what they appear like when you see them in, in uh, pictures. But uh, this is how I've learnt, and I think, in essence, this is a similar press to what Bradbury started with uh, when they first uh, got going and became a big name. Um, and Personally, I, I actually like pressing this way with this press because it's all by eye and feel. Um, so I'm always looking at the, each cleft and, uh, and judging it by eye and the amount of pressure that I'm actually putting through turning the handle. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the first pressing and then I've got one that's handled ready to press for, its, for my, what I have as a second pressing to get the feel. Okay, so you can't see me, which is uh, always a good thing. But um, So this is the, the press. Um, the cleft goes in. We'll give it a spray with some water, which just helps stop the cleft from cracking. As it goes under pressure, it just gives that window a little bit of suppleness. So we start her up. Then it'll run through the press. The stuff by eye, I can't really explain. It's, it's purely the experience of doing it. That's um, just what I found works for me. I tend to give it a couple of runs and then just to make sure everything's even I'll give it a couple of runs the other way I'll spin the cleft around all the time I'm just checking to see as I'm getting the depth that I want Okay, so that's that's pressed. You see that little bit of shape starting to run into the blade there. 
Try to see it against my dark shirt a little bit. Just start to get that little bit of bow. Okay. So that was the press of the first run through for the cleft. Um, this is a cleft that hasn't been pressed. I've got a ball. I'm going to try, I don't know whether it will come over on, on the video. Um, but I'm trying to get to hear the different sound. So this is unpressed. This is after its first pressing, okay? You could possibly see the difference in ping, but there is a different sound altogether. Okay, so that's the start of the process. So what we're going to do now is, I've got lovely cleft here that I'm just about to make up for someone. Um, that's had its first pressing. It's been handled and just had the the uh, splice cleaned up. And I'm going to run this through the machine and uh, so you can see how we get the feel now. I mean that feels quite nice as it is actually because there's a lot of grains in it. It just wants that little bit more. I don't know whether you can hear that over the... But as we press it, you'll see that performance. I'm not going to put, put it really close. I'm not going to put the camera really close to the press here because I want you to see how the bat performs. I'm just going to drag this out of the way. So... So it's basically the same thing, it goes in the press with the handle, handle uh, in the cleft. Let's see if we can get you in there. There we go. So. Nearly. Another couple of runs I reckon.
There we go, that's that sound. That's the sound that we're after, okay, in the feel. And as you can see, that little bow that we started to gain on that first pressing has then moved on to that slightly bigger bow there. You can see that. There we go. Yeah, so that is exactly the feel that I like and the sound that I like. Every bat, every every piece of willow that goes through that press is different. That's why I like this press actually. Um, it was my, it's my starter press and I've got used to it and I've got to be honest, I don't think I'll ever change it. Um, it works for me. Now, no, not, you know, not everyone's going to be the same, other manufacturers are going to do it different, but it works for me and uh, I'm happy with that. So I know that I'm getting good performance out of these bats, as good as anything, so I won't change. But like I say, the, a lot of people press differently. That's how I do it. Um, we spoke about the grains running through the toe of the bat nice and straight on the forum the other day. You can just see that. Try and get the light on it. Really straight. Really straight. Okay. So... I, uh, I hope that's enlightened you a little bit as to how I'm constantly trying to get the best out of each piece of willow. And that process, that one's a grade one, beautiful grade one as well, it's just got a lot of colour in it. Um, but uh, that process is exactly the same with the butterflies, grade twos, whatever we do. So junior bats, exactly the same, nothing changes. It's all down to that feel.